Okay, before I started felting, I wanted to show there's different things that I'm looking for when I'm making um, these projects. Okay, this one's going to be a little hard to see because it's black on black on black, and then I dyed it over again, all in black, so that it really would be as monotone as possible. But this one, I kind of called it Dragon Lady. Um, I wanted it to be really rough, like really wild curls. I didn't try to make these pretty. I didn't try to... Um, soften them or sort them or um, I really wanted this to be kind of wild and because I've got it so wild I lined it because it really is itchy. Oh my god! <laughs> go on buddy go. Is it, is it true or true? <laughs> yes. As soon as I start doing anything my kids come and help. Okay so I wanted to show you the locks that I did for this because I got I bought this fleece and it was um, seriously dirty um, and even now I couldn't get all of the um, the dirt out of the locks without um, really I would have to open them up a lot to do that so for spinning when you comb them all of that vegetable matter, vegetable matter felts out but when I felted them um, it showed how dirty they were so I just took these and I didn't try to clean them up and I didn't try to make them neat at all and actually I kind of took the worst of the worst to make this um, this cowl because look at even just can you see that even just playing with them over it this is totally dirty um, I used the same locks to do this cowl and I, I actually made them neater I took them apart very carefully um, and I felted them, or I laid them down so they'd be a lot neater. But I felted this cowl all in white, and when I got done, I could see all of that vegetable matter that wouldn't come out. So I decided to dye it, and I like pink and green, so what I did is I folded it up like this. And I filled a mason jar with pink dye and I put it in tips down in the mason jar and it stood right up no problem and then after that was finished I took it out and I estimated how much green I wanted um, I knew I wanted them to overlap a little bit and I got kind of a cool purple in here and I just put it in the mason jar and dyed it from this side afterward and it gave me a really cool effect but um these curls, are, even though they're the same, they feel softer, and I just took more care with them when I was separating them. And sometimes I want really soft, curly curls that are nice and neat, um, like on this. I wanted them really fat and soft and kind of bouncy, like this one. I've got little... Lots of little perfect corkscrew curls. I wanted them to bounce off. Um, when I get a fleece and I start to sort it, uh, and I'm pretty sure these curls came from this, but when I start to sort it, I'll start pulling them out and laying them down. Sorry. I'll start laying them down by size. And sometimes there's these little teeny ones here. And I'll just tug those out and set them in their own pile. Um, and then every now and then I just want some really tight little sweet curls to go on the side of something. Um, the only part of this that really felt is going to be the cut end. So I do trim these. And um, like this one I wouldn't need to, but like this one, what I would do before I felted this, I would trim off this little end and then I would give this a little quick comb um, just to make it neat but when you go through I mean even after it's washed sometimes there's dirty spots and that if it if it comes out if you can still get your lock out and it's nice and neat that's not a problem for me because I'm just gonna dye it so I would still use that um, I really don't stress a lot about perfect locks look how pretty that is it's dirty but I'm going to trim the end off and I would comb this end out because when it if, it, if I felted it like this, um, this is still felt but it will uh, create bulk and I'll have a 
bunch or a big bulge there. So if I cut it and give it a little comb, this flat, this even just doing that made a big difference, but this will felt down nice and neat. But when I do, I can, if you can see it, when I open that up, you see the vegetable matter in there? So this is throughout the whole lock. If I opened this up and combed it, there would be vegetable matter everywhere. But um, if I'm going to dye it, I don't care. That is not going to be a, an issue if I dye it. But if I want to make a white cowl, like this here, if I want white, oh, there's little spots in this, but... Um, you have to get your locks nice and clean. You have to make sure you pick only the cleanest ones for the project. Um, and when I'm sorting, I sort of, let me put this bit away here. Um, when I'm cleaning them, I like to sort them and then lay them down into a bag. And if it came with, if the fleece came from someplace, I, I'll put the business card in there in case, so I can remember where I got that particular fleece. But I was playing with this one a little while ago. Look at this. Isn't that pretty? Um, a lock like this is kind of two side by side. Sometimes I'll pull those apart and sometimes I'll just leave them together. Um, but this would be great for an all white cow because you just see there's not a lot of vegetable matter in the very top. And if you want to make something that's going to stay white, you have to take the extra time to comb that out of there. But I don't see a lot in the locks. And they are still a little bit yellow at the end. That doesn't bother me, but... Um, when, I'm, when I'm going through, though, I do like to sort them into approximately the same length. Because sometimes I want long locks and sometimes I want short. And I do um, sometimes... You could trim this. You could cut it off and then just comb out the end. It'll still felt wherever it's combed. The cut end will always felt. Okay, something else I wanted to show. Let me just slide these out of the way. So, when I, um, I dyed these, I felted them just a bit. So, it doesn't seem like you would want to keep them, but um, let me go turn his vine. Okay, not super professional, but turned his volume down. Um, I felted these a little bit when I was dyeing them. This is an earlier project, that, and I wasn't paying attention to it enough. These are still great. I mean, these are... I, I can't spin these. Not that I really do that anyways, but... Um, you know, it's a little bit more work, but you can still get these apart just fine. And... Really, I guess I could spin them if I just trim the ends off and give them a comb. So, um, but they were just a little felted. Some of them are worse. I guess I didn't really grab the worst example to show you, but um, it's a little more work. But if you uh, if you don't mind putting a little effort into it, you can still pull those out and, and use them. And actually, these are what I used in this. So, um, and actually these yellow ones, because I didn't have any yellow, were some of those long ones I just showed you. I just trimmed the ends so that they were about the same length. Um, and then these, actually I have a few here that are very long and I didn't really intend that. But um, These are also from just a big bunch that I have. Um, in my bin and I just uh, tug them out and that one's pretty much ready to just go right down um, I don't uh, um, I don't really use a lot of different kinds of locks I pretty much just have these tea water locks and I like them so I use them um, and then there's one other bunch that I'll show real quick um, I don't really know if I have anything to add. Oh, I do, um, I have this. This is what it is raw when I get it. This is what I get. 
And then this is this fleece right here. So when I wash it, it's it comes out really nice. Um, I guess maybe I could do a video about washing it at some point. Um, I can't believe I've gone on already for 10 minutes and haven't done anything. Um, so anyways, this is just another mess of curls. I think a lot of the ones, yeah, these ones came from this. Um, sometimes I make them really nice and neat and other times I just kind of want more of a rough feeling. Somehow this feels more outdoorsy and with these colors I was kind of going for an autumn outdoors feeling and somehow these um, these less tame ones just feel more outdoorsy than these real curly. I mean I guess it's it's just a personal preference but when I'm getting my locks I will grab my my bunch and I find an end. I find the point of a curl and then pull that out and I try as far down as possible to keep the lock neat and I will just keep tugging it out and moving my hand down so I'm trying to not open up the lock beyond where I really want it to. This one actually came out in one nice piece. Um, so I would just go through and you see the the little pointy the little end of the tip and give it a tug like that. Um, vegetable matter, just pick it out and then open the ends. This is how I start. So before I begin a project, and I think I'm going to use a bunch more of this for another project because I really love these colors. Um, so before I start a project, I would start by um, just laying out my locks on the table like this. And having them all together like this actually helps so that I can see which are longest and which are shortest and uh, if I want them all to be the same length on the whole thing then I need to um, just keep the ones that are that length but generally I uh, I like a mix I like a lot of randomness and you can see the differences in the lengths just in this one little section of this one fleece because I haven't I haven't really, uh, these are all kind of connected to each other still. So this is what I would do. I will start, and I'm going to do this now, um, and I guess if I'm going to be doing a little bit of a tutorial I should have an idea of how much I use, but I honestly am so random with my projects that I don't, um, I don't usually, uh, Pay attention to how much roving I use and how much of the locks or whatever. But I, I'll uh, I'll try to remember to weigh these before I start felting. Look at how pretty those are. I love all these greens. Okay, so I will do um, I'll do this. I'll get these all sorted out and uh, I'll get these all sorted and separated however I want them and. And then I'll uh, I'll make a second video of my next step. Thanks.